Now, violence continues in the Somali capital, Mogadishu, where Islamist insurgents continue to battle pro-government forces, killing civilians caught in the crossfire. VOA Africa correspondent Scott Stearns has that story. Six civilians died in fighting between African Union troops and Al-Shabaab militants in northern Mogadishu. Both sides are exchanging mortar fire, some of which lands in residential areas near the city's main market. A mortar landed here and the result was the two people were killed and our building was totally destroyed. More than 6,000 peacekeepers from Uganda and Burundi are helping Somali troops guard Mogadishu's port and airport while providing security for President Sheikh Sharif Ahmed. The African Union force says it has boosted security on the main road between the presidential palace and the port. But the peacekeepers have had a hard time expanding areas of the capital under their control. Al-Qaeda-linked Al-Shabaab says it's intensifying its three-year holy war against the UN-backed government, which it denounces as a puppet of the West. Al-Shabaab has attracted foreign fighters to the lawless country and now controls much of the capital, as well as large parts of central and southern Somalia. Somali gunmen disguised as soldiers last week stormed a hotel popular with government officials, leaving more than 30 people dead, including more than a dozen parliamentarians. Somalia has been without credible central authority since the collapse of Mohamed Siadbari's government 19 years ago. Al-Shabaab is the latest attempt to impose Islamic rule. The group proved the extent of its reach outside Somalia in July, with suicide bombings that killed 70 people in Uganda, which supplies the bulk of the African Union force. But Uganda is not backing down. The country's chief of defense forces says Uganda is ready to send thousands of reserve troops to Somalia if the United States finances their deployment. Scott Stearns, VOA News, Dakar.